What's going on guys? Ben Steinert here with BeastInFit.com and in this video I'm going to show you guys what a typical high intensity interval training workout looks like for me. And you can find workouts like this in the high intensity interval training subcategory underneath my workouts and discussions tab and that is protected for site members only so I'm giving you guys a little teaser here. So in these workouts I'll either do them right after my weight training or I'll dedicate a whole day to a workout like this. And usually when I dedicate a whole workout to high intensity and overtraining, it'll be a longer workout. But today, this workout took me around 15 minutes, maybe a little longer. But anyway, I like to incorporate all muscle groups in my high intensity and overtraining workouts. So what I'm doing is I'm doing five sets of 10 on the deadlifts at 225 pounds and in between each set I'm doing 20 reps of a specific exercise notice it's in white font and it's gonna change each round so my first round of the deadlifts I did 20 reps of medicine ball push-ups then after that I'm doing 30 seconds of rope swings and then as you can see what I just did was 40 high knee taps so that was the first round we got five rounds here now I'm doing another round 10 reps of deadlifts again and now I'm doing 20 reps of standing dumbbell shoulder press. So like I said, it's in white font, so that exercise is changing every time. The first time it was a chest exercise, now it's a shoulder exercise, and I'm gonna be mixing it up between different muscle groups. But I'm doing the same deadlifts, the rope swings, and the high knee taps for each round. And notice, I have two high intensity movements and two low intensity movements in each round. The deadlifts are obviously high intensity because you're using your full body. You're going to feel pretty gassed out after each set and you're going to need to regather yourself a little bit. And then the next uh, exercise is 20 reps of just any basic um, isolated movement like the shoulder press like I just did. And then high intensity, 30 seconds of rope swings. And after 30, sec 30 seconds of rope swings like this, again, you'll feel pretty gassed out. You gotta catch your breath a little bit. And then active recovery, low intensity with the 40 high knee taps. So I'm catching my breath. Then I'm doing my 40 high knee taps. So that includes round two right there. Again, we're doing five rounds of deadlifts and exercises. And it took me a little over 15 minutes. So this is the typical workout I would do after I finish a weight training workout. And if I wanted to make it longer, all I would have to do is add in a few more rounds of deadlifts with a few more exercises. So I'm moving on to round three. 10 deadlifts again, high intensity. And 225 might not sound like much, which it's not, but when you're in the middle of a cardio workout, it feels definitely a lot more than 225. So I'm done with that. Now onto the 20 reps. Now we're doing bent over dumbbell rows with, I believe, 40 pound dumbbells. So the first round I did a chest exercise. Second round was shoulders. Third round is back. And then the next two rounds will be a different muscle group. Now moving on to the rope swings. And if you'll notice, I'm doing different variations on the rope swings every time. The first time it was uh, alternating each arm. Second time it was simultaneously, both arms up and both arms down at the same time. Now I'm doing inward circles. So I'm just switching up the variations just to keep it interesting. 30 seconds, catching my breath. Then back into the high knee taps, active recovery. A lot of people have a hard time staying motivated to do workouts like this. Usually you just see people hitting the weights and then maybe walking on a treadmill for 10 or 15 minutes and then leaving. And you know, they're not really improving with anything. Uh, they're not in that great a shape. Just because you work out and hit the weights doesn't really mean you're in good shape. Uh, these workouts are definitely going to spike your heart rate way up. It's going to get you in shape. It's going to boost your metabolism. And overall, you're just going to feel better. 
and last but not least everyone loves to eat food right you know so boosting your metabolism is definitely going to help you stay lean while still enjoying social life so here's round four 10 reps of deadlifts once again and then now we're going to do 20 reps of jack knives for abs and i'm going to be using a medicine ball so you'll see what that is coming up here if you don't know what it is getting the dumbbells out of the way And here we have 20 jackknives, so bringing the feet up and the arms up at the same time. Notice I'm bringing my shoulder blades off the floor, which forces me to contract my abs even harder. We're not just lifting the legs up. These, I remember these started getting hard after about 10 reps. I couldn't wait till that number 20 was done. So back to the rope swings. So last time I did, I believe, inward circles. Now I'm going to do outward circles. Again, just switching up the variation. 30 seconds. And this, th these clips are sped up twice as fast. So if you counted 15 and you're wondering why it was only 15, now you know. So here we, here we are with uh, 40 high knee taps, active recovery for round four. And we're doing 40 on each leg, not 20 each. So basically 80, if that's the way you wanna look at it. And now we move on to round five. So at this point, these deadlifts were definitely feeling like 315 almost. And I was using my wrist straps for, I think, round two through five. The first round, I was all right, but I knew my as my hands get sweaty and my I need to catch my breath, I knew I was going to have to use the wrist straps, so I kept, I've just kept them on throughout the workout. So now we're doing 20 reps of box jump squats but I, I just use the dumbbell instead of a box and plus since I'm using the dumbbell I'm getting really low here and my quads were definitely burning pretty good around eight or nine reps in and I was thinking to myself you know I got 20 of these I better I got to finish it out <laughs> so I started slowing down just a little bit <clears throat> I believe in the last five reps or so yep So there's a leg exercise for round five. Round one was, what was it, chest. Round two was shoulders. Round three was back. Round four was abs. And now was uh, legs. And for my last variation of the rope swings, I'm doing jumping jacks. And these might not look hard, but when you're swinging a couple heavy ropes around, your shoulders are definitely gonna burn, be burning here. So 30 seconds of jumping jacks on the rope swings. And then finishing off again with obviously 40 high knee taps. So that concludes the whole workout. If you want to make a, this workout a little longer, like I said, you can add a few more exercises in there with a few more rounds. So this workout you can find in my high intensity interval training subcategory and it's protected for site members only. So if you like what you see here, definitely subscribe to my website for full access to all my different various uh, workouts my discussion videos and also discounts in my store on my site so also subscribe to my youtube channel be sin fit and thanks for watching catch you guys next time